Hello and welcome to the Pear Blossom Press YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted on all of the socials and today I am going to make a 4x6 light up card. As you saw in the intro, I am going to make a lightsaber actually light up. I'm starting with a panel that I've cut to three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So just shy of four by six. I made a little pencil mark where the center point is and I've lined up this die which I just shopped to my stash for a die that I thought would be about the size that I wanted. If you can't find something in your stash that is going to give you sort of the size that you want for your lightsaber then you could always just draw a rectangle and cut out that aperture with say a steel ruler and a uh, craft knife. And then what I am going to use for my light up mechanism is the one light. But I'm using the one light that comes with the halo combo light because this one light is actually a little bit it's configured or a little bit differently from the ones that are sold separately. It actually has the light and the button that pushes it on all in alignment. It's in a straight line with each other. So that's going to allow me to create the effect of actually maybe like pushing a button on the handle of the sword to light up the lightsaber. And as well, what's nice about that is um, this configuration of the one light that comes with the halo light combo has the light slightly further away from the um, button that turns it on and off. So that gives me a little bit of distance also so that I can get that positioned behind the handle of the sword. I've cut another panel just out of black cardstock and with the same die cut that same aperture out from um, that panel as well and I will attach that to the back of this white panel. The reason for that is that's going to be a little bit of a blackout layer so that when we turn the light on it doesn't create shadows where you'll be able to see the inner workings of the inside of the card. So that's just a little trick that if you want to make sure that, say, the foam that you use to adhere that top panel down to your card base, if you want to make sure that that's not visible, just add another layer of cardstock behind your panel. Then uh, to give my lightsaber some color, but also still allow the light to shine through, I've colored a bit of acetate, clear acetate, with my alcohol marker. And so I just chose the color green and I um, just made sure to color this way bigger than the actual aperture itself. Now, before I start putting foam onto anything, I do want to stamp out everything that needs to get stamped onto this top panel because once you have this attached to your card and there's a lot of foam behind this, it's going to be a very uneven surface and it might make it a little bit more challenging to stamp, get really good stamped impressions onto it. So while everything is still flat, now is a good time to stamp your sentiment, stamp any additional um, elements that you want on your card and in particular stamping out the little word that says push or press so that the card recipient actually knows that this is a light up card. Before um, I get to the images that I want to stamp onto here, I do want to create the actual handle of the sword. I didn't happen to have a die that that worked out to be the, the length that I wanted. So I just took a bit of scrap black cardstock and cut that down to the length. And I'm going to take off those sharp corners with a corner rounder just to make it feel a little bit more like it's a um, the handle you know, of a sword. And then I um, my plan was to then take a silver 
gel pen, and then just draw some additional kind of highlights and details onto that handle. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when if you're going to do this, be sure, especially since I'm trying to convey that you're pushing a button on the handle. Well, I didn't actually check to see how long <laughs> the light mechanism is and how long I need that black cardstock to stretch in order that the it looks actually like you are pushing on the handle to turn the light on. Not a problem. All I did was just cut myself another piece of black cardstock this time long enough so that it actually fully extends to um, the length of the uh, one light mechanism itself and where the button lines up I'm going to draw a little uh, a little circle with my silver gel pen and that's going to be a little bit I think that's going to help to be a little bit of an indicator that that's an on off switch but I will still stamp the word push onto this card panel uh, right next to the where that button is and so I think it's always good to give folks that that hint that your card actually lights up and that they can interact with it because it would be a shame to for somebody to receive a card like this and miss out on the fact that they can actually turn it on and light the card up. So now that I know where everything's going to go, I stamped out some additional characters from uh, this famous movie I'm sure most people recognize and the stamp set itself is really adorable it's from CC Designs and it's called Kawaii Force and so I've got those two characters stamped out and I will also stamp the word push. And I'm using the stamp set from Pear Blossom Press. They actually um, have their own set of action stamps. And I missed this as part of my uh, design team haul video that I posted to my channel, but there's actually dies included with this stamp set. So it's so phenomenal. You get so much in this um, stamp and die set. It's, it's really cool. What I really love though about it is that, especially for the word push, you do get that in a var variety of different ways. So for example, you have the word push uh, in two different fonts that are different sizes. And then if you don't like the word push, you also have the word press and uh, press here, which I really like. So you get some different variations, different sizes, different fonts, that way you can kind of change it up and then use the one that that fits really well with the rest of the aesthetic of your card. So I love that. And, and it's small, so it's not going to take focus from the rest of your card design. Now with all of my elements complete, I can actually start to put everything together. I'm starting at the back of my panel here and I am lining the aperture with just some plain old double-sided um, adhesive tape and I will tape the acetate to this. I'm taping this so that the side that I colored onto with the alcohol marker, that's going to face down into my card or it's going to face uh, the card base. And the reason for that is because you could actually wipe away that alcohol marker coloring with uh, just some alcohol. So to protect that and make it so that you can't actually scratch it off or wipe it off accidentally, I have that face down and that way uh, the exposed side is just acetate. And that way it kind of protects that coloring. Then I'm going to just double, triple check exactly where my light up mechanism needs to um, needs to get attached to the card base. And I've got it where I want it, so I'll go ahead and just um, do some pencil marks all the way around. That way, when I lift that up uh, to put some glue behind there, I know exactly where to place that onto my card base. And it is as easy as that. Just having, uh, putting a little bit of liquid glue onto the back of the mechanism and gluing it 
straight down to the card base. So now for the foam. I am so excited to try the Pear Blossom Press World's Best Foam Tape. This is an amazing, amazing um, new product line and I love it. It's huge so I imagine this is going to last me a good long time. And a couple of properties that make this really amazing. For one, it is um, acid free. So it's great for anything where you actually might um, need it for say memory keeping or photos or anything like that. So that's really wonderful. But really the thing that makes it a dream to craft with is that when you've put this down, you have about 30 minutes or so to actually lift this up before it becomes permanent. And you can see I brought my panel on for a second there just to double, triple check everything and realize that my panel is, I cut it so that it's actually smaller than my card base. But when I went to apply the foam, I put the foam all the way to the edge of the card base. So I had to lift all of that foam off and nudge it in a little bit so that it's not visible once I get the panel attached to the top of it. And with this foam, I swear I did not <laughs> do that intentionally just to demonstrate this feature, um, but it really did save me on this card because otherwise that might have torn up my card base and, um, and because it's it was adhered to a portion of the card base that will be visible. If the tearing was really bad, I might have had to actually start this card all over again and uh, and also try to pull up the actual light mechanism. But I didn't have to do any of that because this foam is just that awesome. You have a lot of working time to lift it up, pulled up really easily. I didn't have to be super gentle with it and I had no concerns or worries that it would actually tear my card base at all. Now I do want to add a little bit of foam uh, behind the upper portion of the card panel because there's actually no foam there so I don't want it to be um, a little too too saggy <laughs> behind there. So that's why I've got a bit of foam there. And I did have a little bit of extra foam, so I decided to just add that here and there um, just to to um, make everything as sort of um, sturdy as I can so that it doesn't get crushed at all. And then the last thing to do will be to adhere the handle of my uh, lightsaber. I was waiting for my gel pen to dry, so that's that's the only reason why I didn't do that earlier. And now that everything is where I need it to be, I'm going to tear all of the paper liner away from the foam, which by the way, it really is super easy to tear off that liner. And I've, I know I've worked with foam um, tapes that I actually have to use my pokey tool to try to lift it. It was so easy to do. I ha didn't have to do anything tricky at all to tear that away. And here's my final card. Super fun, really easy. And you could do these, you know, in bulk if you needed for, say, a kid's uh, party, for example, if you needed to make a bunch of these cards. It's so easy, so impressive, and it comes together really quickly, especially once you have all of those design elements stamped out. I hope that you enjoyed this card today, and if you did, please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and if you ring that notification bell, you will get an alert whenever new content is posted here. Thanks so much, and until next time, happy crafting, and have a fabulous day. Bye!